basically him. no idea what was going on no to Susan Cook Kittredge. Her father is Alastair Cooks. Is Alastair Cook. His body parts sold. Susan, I, I hate for you to even hear all this, but you have dealt and grappled with these facts. When did you learn your father had fallen victim to basically a human chop shop? I learned, um, Nancy, first about it 18 months after my father died when I received a telephone call from a detective at the Brooklyn District Attorney's Office, and he asked me if I had heard of the ongoing investigation, and I hadn't. Um, and then he told me that he believed that my father's body was one of the bodies oh. that had been stolen. He robbed them of the life that they believed they were living, just as he robbed the rest of us who had uh, loved ones stolen of, you know, a sort of normal grieving process. So I think that they were as much victims probably as we were. I'm going to go now to Susan Cook Kittredge. Her father, the world-renowned Alastair Cook, who I'm sure you've all either heard of or seen uh, on TV, the host of Masterpiece Theater. When you hear this, Susan, about his greed, and you realize your father's body was chopped up to fuel his greed... He's a sick, what do you think? He, he's, a, he's a very sick human being. And, uh, it, you know, it doesn't surprise me in the least bit. I, my only concern is that we talk about this as though it was all in the past. And I think that this is an industry that continues to thrive um, above board and below board. It's a question of supply and demand. If you ask yourself how many people you know who've had any kind of knee replacement or tendon work or dental implants, you're going to say that you've heard of lots of people. We all have. And then ask yourself how many people you know have willingly donated their body parts. Um, and you'll see that the seesaw is completely imbalanced. Uh, there's a huge demand for tissue and very little legitimate supply. And this is where the thieves come in and um, make off with it. 